We started off this year, we didn't know how good we could be. Now y'all know my feeling. You know what kind of a challenge you have today. This will be the biggest game that I believe everybody in this room has played in their life. We are playing for the state championship. Ensuring that our children receive the highest quality education possible is one of the biggest challenges that we face as parents. Imagine a school with a deep spiritual foundation and a safe, caring environment that provides academics at the highest level. Imagine a school that hires only the highest qualified teachers, that provides some of the most innovative technology in the state, and that is consistently one of the state's top-ranked schools in the areas of academics, athletics, and fine arts. If only a school could provide all of this while at the same time instilling a moral compass in each student that enables them to develop the character that God designed them to have. Dream for a moment. Your dream becomes a reality when your child becomes a part of the Liberty Christian School family. Liberty Christian School began in 1983 when its founder, Rodney Hare, envisioned a school where everyone strived for one purpose, providing an environment where each child can achieve his full academic and spiritual potential. Rodney has a deep passion for the school and has made it his life's work. What happened to Liberty and the way it grew and the way it evolved was really absolutely unconditionally, unquestionably the work of the Lord. That what has happened here, there's no way any one person, man or woman, could do. And the way the Lord built Liberty was with extraordinary people. Liberty Christian has indeed evolved into the number one ranked 5A private school by TAPS in the areas of academics, fine arts, and music. Liberty's main reason for having all the programs is to have a place for every child to succeed. And we want to keep our numbers at a level where every child has a place to surface. As a side note, Liberty has ended up number one in the state two years in a row because we've had enough programs for enough kids to participate in areas where they really feel comfortable in, what they really develop skills in. You, you supply them with coaches or directors and let them get trained well, and you end up in, in, in the top ranks. Liberty Christian is also on the cutting edge of technology, housing high-tech computer systems, software packages, and internet resources. There is no limit to what man can learn, but it is because we are created in his image, and we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Man can do some amazing things, and I want our kids to be at that cutting edge. Aside from having excellent educational tools, the key to the success of Liberty Christian School is its highly qualified and caring teachers and staff. Through the freedom that we give them at Liberty, you just teach. You just teach your heart. And the subject matter is related to the, to the Word of God, and the connection is amazing. Well, the number one thing is that Jesus is openly invited to our classrooms. And he is openly invited as the teacher of our classrooms and the leader of our classrooms. And we can pull the Bible into everything. When we're disciplining a child, we get to pray with that child, and we get to quote scripture that might help that child, which I love that we get to help that child. All my teachers, I know, um, they're always praying for us. It's great to have so many different uh, mentors, like Christian mentors, just because they, they're taking you to the next step in your spiritual walk. I think that when kids are safe and they're in a safe environment, they're happy. Um, we don't uh, admit kids that have social problems of uh, violent nature. We just don't admit them. And really all kids want to do is have fun. I mean, if you, if you go to uh, one of our, the traditions at Liberty is that we have a senior day and they, we all go to the gymnasium and all the seniors get together in the chairs they're in the middle of the auditorium and they're talking to the student body and to the teachers and they're relating for a few moments. They have three minutes each to tell 
who has made an importance in their life. And every one of those kids will somehow relate how much fun they had. And really, if learning isn't fun, the retention rate is real low. We just come from their classrooms, and the teachers are so loving and so um, warm and caring. And you can just see that. And you can see how they love um, working with the students here, and we're just glad our grandchildren are part of that. This is something that is very special for me, um, to be able to do this. Um, I taught in public school, and so um, it, it was difficult when you're teaching about the American heritage and uh, uh, so much of what our country was founded on that you're not allowed to talk about in the classroom. And here, uh, my kids will, will ask me, Mrs. Sharp, can we please pray for, for this situation? Or can we please pray for this friend? Um, and so we can actually stop what we're doing, you know, if, you know, if the moment is right. And, and we, can just, we can just pray for a minute. The question is, what will you do with this precious life that the Lord has given you? Will you stop every now and then and reflect upon the miracle and ask yourself, isn't it wonderful what Jesus did for me? It may well be that you will come to a time in your life when you can look down on your babies and say, I hope my children will know and obey my law <laughs> so things will go well for them. If you can do that, and in your heart you will know your law was good. And you fulfilled your parents' greatest hope. The end game for me is that our students would leave liberty, be well enough educated to pursue whatever university that they chose, that between them and their parents was best for them that they would then graduate from that university with high enough grades to be solicited by law firms or medical schools or entrepreneurial firms and then take Christ into that organization and hopefully into the boardroom. But I really believe we are a nation of God and we are that as long as our president is a believer and it filters down from there now is a time of great growth and opportunity at Liberty Christian. The dream continues as we anticipate the completion of phase two. Included in this phase of development are the immediate completion of the upper school classroom building and the new on-campus athletic stadium. Future plans include an amphitheater, a chapel, additional parking, and campus beautification. The stadium is important because we have so many activities and they have to have a place. We've won 22 state track championships at Liberty Christian School. We need a home field advantage. The Liberty experience on Friday night is not just a football game. It's really a family game. And I'll tell you this, if you don't have an athletic stadium and an athletic program, you aren't gonna have a, a whole school. There's just a big piece of it missing. It, it gives the band a cause to look forward to every Friday night they can perform. Every Friday night, the drill team and cheerleaders, same thing. And so it really gives kids that aren't on the field a reason to look forward to. A new tradition is always good. A new beginning, these are, these are things that Liberty is ready for. The modular buildings are the reason that we need the rest of phase two. And that is because those are, those are moved from one site to the, to the next. And modulars are, are okay if you build them in place and they stay in place. Once you move them, you start having a few problems. And we're just looking, I mean, we're just looking ahead and saying, look, th these weren't as good as they were last year by, by me a strong measure. So we did move them. They are functional, but they're not as good as they were last year before we moved them. So we think the, the permanent high school classroom building will be a tremendous addition. And we also want to send a message to the kids that listen, it's, it's really important to have an athletic stadium, but it's just as important to have a classroom building. True faith involves doing all we can and letting God take care of the rest. By giving of your time and financial resources today, you are planting seeds that will blossom into an even brighter future for Liberty Christian students. 
With the force of God's power, your gifts will come together to make our continued Vision for Liberty Christian School a reality. We're really looking for um, a family that has a partnership uh, mentality uh, because I want to treat their child like he's my child and I want to do for them like I would want them to do for mine. <laughs> Liberty Christian School is changing the future of our world in a positive way, one student at a time. I think Liberty means heart and home to me because um, the thing that's made the greatest impact on me about Liberty is just that it, it really comes from the heart and everybody is so genuine and real and um, they really just have the love of Christ coming out of them and that makes it such a homey environment and um, it's just really been a blessing. One of the main things that I see is the respect that the children gather. They are really involved in learning about life as a Christian. For our daughter, Liberty has given her a sense of uh, what it's like to strive for excellence. She has a sense of peace in her this, these past two years that we've been here that I've never seen before. Um, it's kind of like the Mayberry 1950s safe, secure environment, and we love it. As parents, we have loved it for our daughter. Each student is given many opportunities to not only grow personally, but to grow in his or her faith as well. Activities such as mission trips change not only the life of the Liberty student, but allow that student to reach out and touch the lives of others. The kids come back, change young men and women, and a lot of them rededicate their lives to Christ, or they, they really uh, secure that firm foundation of, of, of what they believe and why they believe what they do, but also their mission uh, to serve God. Are you going to believe in God or not? And if you believe in God, then God becomes your worldview. And everything you do and you believe and you say um, is relative to God. We are dedicated to carrying out the purpose of Liberty Christian School, to develop students who glorify God by becoming all that He designed them to be. Our goal is to do everything possible to help your child. As parents, you strive to do what is best for your child. Jesus says that with the faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. If we all do our part and turn the rest over to God, imagine what He can do for your child. Take a leap of faith today. Together we can make a difference. me up.